Why would you form a committee of 10 people to fix a leaking roof? Which country are we? What are we saying as a nation? A whole, it shows to the incompetence of C.S. Murkomen. Because if he will form a committee to fix a leaking roof, what will happen to roads that have stalled in land? He will form a whole African Union or United Nations <laughs> to come and fix the roads in Nandi. Because if he cannot fix a leaking roof, if it is to fix, I, I can imagine, what about the stalled roads in Kenya? So that is the incompetence I wanted to call out on the floor of the house. And it is very unfortunate that because of other dynamics, he uh, captured the house to sue to his feet. Because even he was making sniping remarks, he was even answering senators directly, which is not a procedure of the standing orders. You answer the house through the speaker. This Mombasa road from here, the lower deck, it is flooding. It's not marked. A contractor went away with billions of shillings in the lower deck. Kenyans are, the, the, this city is like a floating city. In the biblical era, the roads are being washed away. And you had him, he defended the Chinese. Why would you defend that? We go and borrow loan from a Chinese. We bring it from China here. Then we give to contractors of China to go back with our money. What will happen to our local contractors? And that is why I'm proposing, I'm coming up with a list report called Public Procurement and Disposal Act to amend, to say that all contracts below two billion exclusively to local contractors, which are Kenyans. And number two, all contracts below 200 million should be given to youth and special interest group. And I've shared, it is with the legislative services. I know it will be gazetted and I'll share with this. Of course, the small matter of the reeking roofs in KQ and also disembarking of passengers. You know, now people are being rained on at JKI. You disembark 50 meters from there, from the veranda, and you get rained on. You can imagine if they are disabled or people who are expectant. Uh, people who are and other children, people who are sick, you can imagine the inconvenience. Why would he donate to Mangu High School a plane which is still new? And this plane, if you look at this plane, why would you donate a plane that is worth a hundred million US dollars to a school? You donate toys. What do you expect a high school child to do with a plane? And this plane is still new. That plane, according to the valuation, is 100 million US dollars. Uh, and it could have generated around 600,000 US dollars. I've done my homework very well. That's why they feared me speaking at the floor of the house. Some people could have gone for a long call and short call combined. Was the aircraft... Because we wanted to see the value report. These are serious issues. I am not personal. Kisumu does not even have a sewerage. Kisumu International Airport. And uh, you know Kerenga, by the way, is very interesting. Because it's the only airport in Africa and in the world where you get stuck. Have you guys seen a plane which gets stuck? And it's the only plane where you board while wearing a gumboot. Some of us wear a gumboot so that we board, we go to the farm. But Kerenga Airstrip is the opposite and you saw what happened. So these were the issues, the three questions. I didn't want to be personal, but it seems he has, and I, and I, and I want to say without fear of contradiction. Personally, Sinunui Woga, because Beya Woga Ilishuka, free, So I know truth will always stand with me. The people like Jean Maria Serone, the people who stood with the right are still remembered because they stood with the people. You don't go and eat 10% of Chinese and come and form it out our legs. We'll call you out when time comes. And I still have many doors here to show when the CS visited. That one is too hot, eh? Can we? He visited. I'm trying to get China Uyi. In China, he has visited China severally. And you heard at the floor of the house defending Chinese contractors. Where will the hustler contractors who voted for us go if you are giving them contract? Because he received a bribe, and I am daring him to come clean on the allegation of receiving a hundred million US dollars from China Uyi when he visited in the month of between June and, and October. I want him to come out and tell the country. Because every time when he came to insult me in the funeral, he defended the Chinese contract. Who will defend Kenyans who are contractors? Or does it mean Kenyans, we don't have capacity of doing roads? Even slashing and, and clocking drainages, do we need Chinese to come and slash? Where will our young people who do not have jobs go? So I want to dare him to tell the country what agreement did they agree on allegations of receiving 100 million US dollars from China, where he was paid an afro of 50 million US dollars. And we have all the facts. We have the flight manifest. We know where the money is in Dubai. 
It is that some of us are just keeping what we call decency, but it has reached a time that the country must know the truth. And that is why he decided to ensure he gets protection from the house so that some of us do not speak and tell the country the truth. Some of them, instead of working, they go on a shopping spree, they wear 130,000, it's called Salvatore Cabarmaco, they wear expensive watches, they wear a lot of things instead of concentrating on the core business. And I love hii machozi yako hata karibu imeanza kuisha kwa sababu ya kulia tu kwa hii kitu unafikiri ni, mimi nitacheka hata mkakulana mimi siwezi nikacheka naomba mkulane sasa huyu ni nabii nabii huyu alikuwa ameleta habari jema lakini watu wakamchibia chimo wa Kenya mimi nimehubiri kutoka gerezani kwa nini hata muwezi kuwa na heshima tu mkasema eh hey, hata kama ni wasimu hii we minister wa barabara we ni kona we sasa i saw before god nitawaonyesha huyu mungu wangu mimi ni kisirani kama amtamheshimu mungu mgoje nikiodoka kaja lakini mkijipika kifua huyu mzee we minister wa barabara Huyu mzee ana miaka sabina moja. kila saa analia kwa sababu yako. We utamaliza kweli. We utamaliza. Huyu mzee ana 71 years. Kila saa akienda kukula chakula analia. Anasikia maumivu anasema sasa nitaondoka duniani. Madhabahu litawacha nini? Na ni wewe umeamka tu na karatasi yako ukaadika. Msisahau. Sams 15 number 1 to number 4 number 4 inasema ni mtu atakaye timiza kiapo chake Mimi sitaki kuogea hiyo mambo mengine naogea mambo ya hii sababu inaniumiza kabisa hii Na wengine wenyewe mlikuja hapa wale mko kwa power you came here and kneel down here and i prayed for you then when you enter to the power you say this prot i stole the prot your wife came to my house four times All those preachers who are not there. I was the top that time. Today wakati mmeingia kwa power mimi ni mwizi wa hii. Na ulipiga magoti hapo mkao hapo. It's over. Karebu ni watu wana I have today decided to dismiss with immediate effect all the cabinet secretaries and attorney general of the public of Kenya of the cabinet of Kenya except the prime cabinet secretary and cabinet secretary for secretary uh, and secretary for and cabinet secretary for foreign affairs and diaspora affairs and of course the office of the deputy president kufumba na kule nyuma wale watu ambao hawana kazi huko nyuma hebu nione kwa mkono